Blessed be the name of the Lord. It's very surprising to me that very few people see that the end is coming now. Today I want to present to you the timeline of the last days. The timeline of these last 10 years. We have about 10 years left. We know the seasons and we know what's coming. And if you don't know it's com what's coming, then that means you live in darkness. It says in 1 Timothy 5, 4, you are not in darkness, brothers, for that day to surprise you like a thief. That day is, of course, the day of the second coming. So we should not be surprised because we are, we are children of light, children of the day and not of the night. In um, King James Version, it says, but ye brethren are not in darkness for that day, that that day should overtake you as a thief. So if you don't know what's coming, if you don't know that the end is, is here very soon, the end of this age is just around the corner, then you are in darkness. Let me bring up one more translation, maybe... I like Geneva. Geneva is um, a very solid translation. But ye brethren are not in darkness for that day, that that day shall come on you, shall come on you as it were a thief. So if you are filled with the Holy Spirit, uh, you are a saved Christian who lives in light, then you see what's, what's coming. And... Uh, we're not going to be able to win this one. Uh, there's going to be no 1776, like Alex Jones keeps saying. No, so, you know, we, we will be victorious. We will not be victorious. But on the other hand, the globalists, the Babylonians, who are trying to enslave everybody, they will not be victorious either. They will only succeed for a short time, which is three and a half years of the rule of the beast, known as the Antichrist. But overall, they will lose because that will pass just like that. And hopefully we will be taken by rapture during that period of time. But then Jesus will come and put an end to all this craziness. So the way it will happen is we are now in 2022. It's August 2022. When uh, the COVID came, everything started moving so fast that I, I thought for a short time that my timeline was wrong because at, at the speed that things were progressing, we would have the end and the rule of the beast in 2024 <laughs> upon us. It was just, it was too sudden. Uh, but now they slow down with all the restrictions, with all the tyranny and oppression because they moved too fast. They were moving too fast. They, oh, they, they jumped the gun. They, they got ahead of themselves. They couldn't keep up with that pace. People revolted. There was lots of uh, protests all over the world. Uh, one of the known ones was, of course, in Canada, the, the, um, the trucker's convoy. And now the globalists had to slow down and now they are pretending everything is fine and they are clearly in confusion. They don't know what kind of card to pull out next. They don't know what to do. They are planning their next move, but they are not sure what they should do. But regardless of what they do, the plan is God's, not theirs. And I believe God's plan is as follows. We are now in 2022, August something big will start happening in 2025 of course there will be there will be all the commotion and the usual accusations and lies and and schemes uh coming up to the election in the united states uh, but 2025 and 2026 is the year that the real strange things will be happening it will be uh, famines earthquakes plagues and uh, wars because that will have to lead to, to the coming of the beast. Um, people will have to agree to accept the Antichrist, the beast, as the leader of the, of the world. I'm counting back from 2033. I believe that's the year that Jesus will come. Because, because of 2000 years since the cross, 
because of the blood moons that are showing up again 2033. So as I'm counting back from 2033, uh, the year that the beast will come on stage, will be elected the leader, everybody will agree to that. Uh, that will be in 2026. So 2025 has to be really bad for people to agree for the beast to become the leader of the world. And then um, for three and a half years, he will be benign and things will start looking good. And uh, 29 and a half is halfway through the seven year period of the rule of the beast. And that's when the rapture should happen. When the ra if rapture is about to happen, that will be the year. And that coincidentally is also the year of the Apophis coming, the asteroid that is going to come dangerously close to the Earth and probably uh, collide with the Earth. Although right now, apparently NASA is denying that there is such a possibility. But whoever believed NASA, NASA is actually pretty satanic. All, that's, that's a different story, but NASA is a very bad agency. Uh, it, it, goes, it goes back to their beginnings with uh, the Germans collaborating to set up NASA and being given high positions. And, and, and then there is a lot of um, occult um, background in NASA. So uh, we shouldn't believe what NASA says, but there is the Apophis and also um, around that time, I think 2029 20, is the year of Shemitah, the year of release, the year of setting the captives free. If the Jewish calendar is correct and if the uh, Shemitah year is still counted correctly, then it is 29. So that's, that, that would be the year of rapture and that would be the year of the beginning of the Great Tribulation from 29 and a half to 20 to 2033 that's three and a half years and then 2033 right after the last blood moon which happens uh on jewish feasts in the fall of 2033 that's when jesus comes to earth for the final judgment so stay ready watch and pray there's still 10 years left till the end more than that 11 years and uh, quite a few years till the rapture but be ready for 2025 2024 25 26 to around 25 that's going to be that's when a lot of really bad things will start happening which make will make everything look like a cakewalk right now it's not that bad yet they are pushing for it they are trying but they're often failing but there will be a spiritual element in all of this um satan will be allowed to inter to interfere and 2025 is the year that um dangerous perilous things will be happening on the earth so stay ready. May the Lord richly bless you from Zion. Take care. Bye-bye.